Hey everybody, how's it going? Chris here. Um, and of course I got some comic books to show you from a few different places. Uh, mostly from my trip down to Lethbridge to visit family and uh, have fun over the Canada, Canada Day weekend. Uh, so first I'd like to say um, I'm behind on my email, so anybody who has left any messages or comments for me um, for like the last three, I think, videos, or four maybe, um, I'm just really behind. i um, got lots of stuff going, but I have read most of my messages. Just have to get back to them. And I really appreciate everybody's um, support with the uh, troll that I've had recently um, that was saying nasty things against Logan. I really appreciate um, your guys' support of that. Really, really, really do. So thank you very much. Um, so we're going to get on and show you some comic books. The first four ones here uh, I got locally at a coffee shop, antique shop, used bookstore that I've been to before and mentioned on my channel, but um, they really had a poor selection of comic books. And um, I've rummaged through the box here and there, uh, but finally went through the whole box and, and picked out what I thought were kind of the, the gems in this. Um, you know, terrible box of books. And uh, so yeah, I was downtown doing some errands and went in there to get a coffee for my wife and uh, decided to go through through the books. I was trying to find a certain kind of novel there, but wasn't there. Um, so I decided to go through these. Okay, so let's get on with a quick Kazar the Savage. This is issue number 15. Uh, out of all the comics in there, this is probably the one that was probably in one of the best shapes and the most glossy cover. Um, so it had a lot of shine to it. Just little bits on the spine here, some color breaks, but really nice. Never really read any Kazars. Um, I've read some Marvel books, you know, that had to do with um, uh, the Savage Land, um, and read, you know, some stuff with Kazar in it, but nothing actually his his uh, title. So next up here, the Incredible Hulk, probably the best. I think they had a couple Hulks, but this one seemed to be in the best shape as well. Uh, 257 with the Arabian Knight. Really kind of cool cover with these monsters attacking the Hulk, so I figured that'd be a great one to pick up. Next one is Marvel Premiere uh, featuring Weird World. And this one definitely caught my eye. I thought it was a great cover. Um, you know, the, the dragon and, and very... Uh, you know, what is it, you know, medieval and fantasy cover, and they mention on the front here, if you like J.R. Tolkien's uh, Lord of the Rings, this is basically for you kind of thing. Um, so, Weird World, the story is called The Lord of Tyndall's Quest. So I think it's kind of a rip-off of Lord of the Rings and um, Elf Quest. But uh, I believe this one was, uh, I saw the name in here, Mike Plug, I believe. And I've heard that name here and there on YouTube, so I figured this is definitely a, a pickup then. I think it's the only Weird World titled book in the Marvel Premiere uh, title. But if anybody knows more, I, th I think there are, but I haven't done much research, more Weird World books. I would actually probably pick them up eventually, because this one seemed really interesting. I've only read a few pages so far, but it really seemed uh, interesting. So the last one here that I got from the shop... So one of the books, novels, that I wanted to pick up while I was at the shop was an Edgar Rice Burroughs novel, because um, I was so interested in the um, John Carter movie that turned out really good for me. Um, I was searching, none, asked a lady, she said for sure they didn't have any. But while rummaging through the comic book box, I found John Carter, Warlord of Mars, issue 27. Uh, so I saw that one, I'm definitely picking this one up, again, not the creative shape, but pretty good, pretty good, and, um, yeah, so I'm definitely interested in this book, um, I'm probably going to get the whole series eventually, it was only, uh, limited to 28 issues, I believe, so it looks pretty cool, so it's going to be interesting to see how it compares between, you know, the, the movie, the comic book, um, and perhaps I will in the future get the novel. Okay, so that's it, the ones that I found in town, that was about a week or so ago, um, probably a little over a week. Now, a few of the books that I got while on trip, um, some of these were from Red Deer, some were from Lethbridge. So, let's see, the first ones that were from, two from Lethbridge, the store was kind of a bust, I'd been there before, um, slightly overpriced, maybe a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, they did come with free 
bags and boards, but a little overpriced. Um, so the Incredible Hulk, this one was a pretty good issue. I love the Stay Angry premise. Art is getting better, um, which makes you reading the story that much better. Um, this one, I really don't know, figure what Banner was trying to do. Um, so it was almost pointless to me, because I really don't know what was the point of this space station. Um, or what Banner's point was to being having the Hulk on this, you know, space station. Uh, but there's one line in here that was kind of really sick and, <laughs> I don't know, funny at the same time. Uh, anybody who has read this one, it's where the crazy, this crazy, uh, um, I don't know, space super soldier, Russian, Russian space super soldier, uh, was... Um, explaining how he's going to celebrate um, after killing the the American, the Hulk, uh, which I thought was just it was gross and funny at the same time. Anybody who's read it knows what I'm talking about. Um, it was hilarious. But this this stay angry premise, I, I really like it. Just want the art to get a little bit better. But Aaron's Jason Aaron's writing is really good. And the other issue I got at that store, um, and this one in left. Was it Lethbridge? Yes. Was called Showcase Comics. Was where these two issues come from. Amazing Spider-Man. It was a good setup. Um, I don't know. Nothing really wrong with it, but not the greatest Amazing Spider-Man beginning to a story or something like that. But but it, it was good nonetheless. Great cover. I wish uh, I could find the variant cover by uh, J. Scott Campbell for for cheap. But um, yeah, a, a good start to what I hope uh, ends up being a really awesome story with the Lizard. Great artwork. I did feel like it was ruined a little bit for me because I was like, where did I read this? This all seems familiar. Are they rehashing or, or redoing the same panels from the last issue? Didn't they go over some of this stuff? But then I realized, no, I've already read it a few pages in the preview. So I felt sort of gypped a little bit, you know, that I've read, you know, a few of the pages already seen the art so but whatever but you know spider-man it's it's good okay last three issues were from a shop called amazing fantasy in red deer i uh, never been there before and this was actually a really really uh fun shop to stop at um i paid again for the older issues maybe a little overpriced not much i mean comic book shops they gotta you know purchase a lot of times they got to purchase and then, you know, resale, so they do got to make a profit. But um, I had a lot of fun in the shop. It was, it's, it's a really small, narrow shop. Um, not much room to move around in, but it was, like, had old comics and also used books. Um, and me and Logan went in there. We had a lot of fun. He got a couple of toys from there. And uh, at one point in there, when we went to the back, the guy was pulling out some boxes of some old books for us and Logan's like I re uh, Dad, I really like this kind of place uh, so <laughs> that made me laugh and I'm like well son, I really like this kind of place too um, and there was another family in there this little girl, he started playing with her showing his toys um, so he had a lot of fun in there, I had a lot of fun in this shop so these are the three issues I picked up from there uh, Avengers vs. X-Men crossover, Wolverine and the X-Men number 12 um, yeah, I mean, Bacalo, I, I love the guy's artwork, I mean, it, it's amazing to see his stuff here, um, but basically the, uh, you know, Avengers and Wolverine trying to keep hope from, uh, from the X-Men, and, uh, Kid Gladiator basically, you know, beating them all up, um, so, it's something that you didn't really need for the event, but I collect Wolverine and the X-Men, so it was good story, almost, you know, you can whiz through it and forgettable, uh, but um, always have to collect Wolverine and the X-Men. It's pretty good by uh, another title by Jason Aaron, and uh, Bacalo's artwork is just superb. Now, a couple of old issues that I got there. Here is Commandy number 17, and uh, I'm getting... I'm almost basically half of uh, the Kirby Commandies. That's really cool. Love them, love them, love them. Um, so, I really can't say much about this one because, I mean, it's, it's Kirby, it's Commandy. <laughs> um, and the last one, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to like this one or smile when you see this one, I think. Star Wars, issue number one. 
Um, too bad it's not the 35 cent variant. <laughs> but uh, this is about a mid-grade. I saw it on the wall there, and I've been thinking about this one. Almost purchased this one a couple weeks ago online, um, and decided for some other comic books that I'm still waiting in the mail. Um, but saw this one on the wall there. I'm like, oh yeah, acceptable grade. I'll I'll, t I'll buy it from you. I'll get it. Um, so I'll see how I like this one. I at least want to get the first six issues of Star Wars in singles. Um, maybe the large treasury edition. I don't know. Um, and uh, perhaps upgrade this one in, you know, some time. Um, if I can sell this one off and then upgrade or whatever. But for now, I have a Star Wars issue number one. So yeah, that's my haul for all the comics I've gotten over the Canada Day weekend. Um, happy Canada Day to you guys. Happy 4th of July. Um, hope you guys had a, a great long weekend. I got to see my uh, newborn nephew. Um, so that was a lot of fun too. Um, yeah. So that's about that, you guys. Again, I got lots of emails to get get back to, so I'll get back to those uh, as soon as possible. Um, and yeah, just leave your comments, give me more private messages, whatever. Uh, I really appreciate uh, you guys leaving your comments and messages and, and uh, all your guys' support. Alright, so that's that, you guys. I'm going to get out of here, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.